Hi, my name is Nathan Bloss. I'm a technical support engineer with Go Engineer, and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a dashboard as well as different tabs inside of 3D Experience. To start, what is a dashboard inside of 3D Experience? A dashboard is a view of your gathered content and resources for any topic or activity you are a part of in your company. Every dashboard is made up of tabs that contain widgets, and every tab is a collection of widgets slash apps that are typically set up for different tasks uh, inside of 3D Experience. The first time that you launch uh, 3D Experience, you will be shown the My First Dashboard that has two tabs on there, the Getting Started and the Learn the Experience. Both are great tabs that have different uh, examples and explanations of the different widgets available to you on the platform. To create a new dashboard, let's select the three lines up at the top left-hand corner that will open up the dashboard and cockpit menu. From there, we can click on the plus sign to bring up the create dashboard uh, menu here. We can create an empty dashboard or we can create a dashboard from templates. The templates all depend on what roles that you are assigned here. For this example, we're going to create an empty dashboard. We're going to name it examples. And then we'll type a brief description, you know, stating that we're uh, making examples of the different dashboards and tabs. Once that is done, we can we can hit create, and that will create our new dashboard. After hitting create, it'll take a second, but we'll notice that the examples gets loaded into our dashboard list, as well as it shows in the view pane with a blank new tab. Let's close the dashboard menu. And we can rename this tab by going to the drop down arrow and selecting rename. Here we'll name this example tab. There we go, hit OK. And as we can see, it's now named example tab. Let's now go over to the compass again. And here we can see our roles and apps. You'll see your different roles listed here. And if you click on a role, it'll then show you the apps associated with that role. Back in the compass, if you collapse roles and select apps, there you will see a full list of apps. If you look at this app here, you'll notice that there is a arrow in the top right hand corner that is defining it as a widget. And widgets are what we can uh, click and drag and drop onto the tab to populate our different tasks for the, the tab at hand. We can now start dragging and dropping the different widgets on here. We're just going to pick some at random. As you can see, they kind of snap into predefined squares as you drag and drop. Um, these can be obviously changed later on, but for the most part, uh, the predefined spaces. And you can you can change the size and the, the position of any widgets that you have on here by going to the corners to extend the, the frame or clicking on the header to uh, move them. Now, if we go up to the tab up at the top and click on the down arrow, you'll see the option for fit. This is a screen style where it will condense all of the widgets to form fit to the screen um, for better ease of use and less empty space, as you can see here. If you would like to go back to the scroll view, you can click on the down arrow on find scroll in place of where fit was located. Let's now go and delete some of these widgets. We're going to actually change this uh, tab into our first example tab. So let's uh, go up here and rename. Instead of example tab, we're going to rename this product explorer. Uh, this will be our first example. And product explorer tab is going to be used for viewing and uh, managing our different physical products that we have inside of 3D Experience. The first widget we're going to add to create this tab is the bookmark tab. This is probably probably the most useful and widely used tab, as it is how you manage and navigate through all of your files. The next uh, widget we're going to be adding is the tab namesake, the Product Explorer widget. And as you can see, it adds two widgets when you've just placed the one. First is Product Explorer. Um, the next is 3D Navigate. Um, so with Product Explorer, you can open content and navigate and view the products that you have in 3D Experience. As you can see, we have a big list here. We're going to click on this one and say OK. This will bring it up, and this will show you the uh, assembly view where it's it's showing the assembly, the different parts and sub-assemblies. It also shows all the relationships um, that are associated with these different parts. In 3D Navigate, you can see a, a view of this has shown up, and you can uh, scroll, pan, zoom, and view the product that you're dealing with here. 
as always, we can control the orientation of our different widgets in this view. So we can drag Bookmark Editor to the left, Product Explorer to the right, and there we have a different setup uh, that gives us a bit better view of what we're viewing here. Now let's make our new example tab. Click New, drop down, and rename. We're going to name this tab Tasks because this will be our task tab. Now back to the compass, we can navigate and find our bookmark editor. Again, one of the more important widgets we can add here. But uh, scrolling through the list here is not the always the easiest way to find a, a widget that we're looking for here. So if we go over here, we can actually find the search icon. Clicking on that brings up the search bar, and we can type in the name of the widget, if we know it, that we're looking for. So collaborative tasks is what we're looking for here. Let's make this fit to the screen. There we go. Um, and as you can see here, we have our collaborative tasks, which shows the to-do, the in-work, and the complete. And this is how you'll manage and control your tasks that are in, in place here. Um, now, sometimes we want to see a full screen of one tab, but not the other. So we can minimize by using the minimize icon. Or if you double click on the header, it will bring the uh, widget that you're looking for to full screen like we did with the bookmark editor there. Now, for our next tab, we're going to use this to control the maturity of our products. So let's click New Tab. We're going to look at the drop-down rename, and we're going to call this Release. Awesome. Now let's go over here and start taking a look at our widgets. This tab will be a lot like our Product Explorer tab, where we will have the Bookmark Editor, Product Explorer widget, as well as the 3D Navigate widget, but we will add one additional one as well. This will be the Collaborative Lifecycle tab. Let's go find that here in our list of items. Oh, there we go. And we're going to drag and drop this on there. Um, this is another instance of when uh, tab layout is going to be important. Um, for instance, we'll want the product explorer on the right-hand side where we can view the different products that we want. Here we can change the way that the view is set up so that we can easy, more easily find our product we're looking for there. There we go. That's the one we want. Let's click OK. Um, and as we can see, it's loaded in here now. Now if we expand the tree of items, we can find the uh, sub-assembly that we're looking for and drag and drop that over into the Collaborative Lifecycle tab where we can then view and control uh, at what state uh, this product is in currently. Let's now move on to our fourth example. So we'll click Add New Tab, Rename like we've done before, and we're going to call this Document Manager. There we go, click OK. Awesome. This tab will allow us to manage and control our non-CAD documents. So we're going to add Bookmark Editor as always, but then we're going to scroll down a little bit further and add Document Manager. Let's fit this view to the page. Uh, come up here and close the Widgets tab. There we go. And then as we can see, we can search all of our documents. Um, the document manager is used for, like I said, our non-CAD uh, documents here. So these are for PDFs, specifica specifications, um, and just general documents such as like Word documents and pictures and stuff like that. For our final example today, we are going to create an advanced search tab. Here we can see, we can enter in the different specifications for an advanced search. Uh, we have another document on advanced search searches, um, and so I won't go over in detail how to create those and manage those today, um, but I'll add in some just basic search options here. For instance, here we're going to only search for 3D experience files, and if we go down a little bit further to our content structure, we're really going to look for the, the top level items. We can click search, and there is our search saved. Now, if we go up to the top right-hand corner, we can go to Pin to Dashboard, where we can see our dashboards and tabs. We don't want to add it to an existing tab, so we'll create a new tab. Uh, close our search here, and as we can see, our advanced searches was successfully added to a new tab. We can see that there. Let's rename this to be Top Level Search. There we go. Oop. Hit OK. And there we have it. We have our top level search. We can fit this to screen now. And this will then show us the res results from that advanced search whenever we need a search for top level files. Thank you for your time. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you have not already. This has been Nathan Bloss. Have a great day.